Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss Gas Law, Boyle's Law. Let's start with the formula. So we have P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2, or P sub 1, V sub 1 is equal to P sub 2, V sub 2. So I'll just call it P1, V1, and it's equal to P2, V2. So in this law, we only need the pressure and the volume. We don't need temperature here. So P1 is equal to original pressure and V1 will be the original volume, P2 will be the resulting pressure, and V2 will be the resulting volume. So take note, in pressure units, we have standard pressure. When EDM or atmosphere is equal to 7R60 torr, 7R60 millimeters of mercury or MMHG, 101.3 kilopascal or KPA, and last one we have 14.7, PSI or pounds per square inch. So all of them are equal to each other and they are all standard pressure. So if the problem states at standard pressure, it could be 1 ATM, 7 RCT tor, and so on. Now let's have the first example. To what pressure must a gas be compressed in order to get into a 3.00 cubic foot tank? The entire weight of the gas that occupies 400.0 cubic feet at a standard pressure. So initial pressure will be 1.00 ATM. So it can be other than ATM. So it can also be 760 torr, 760 mmHg. I choose 1 ATM because it's easy to divide and easy to multiply. Going back. So our initial volume will be 400.0 cubic feet. And our Resulting pressure, we are asked to find that one, so I'll put X here. The resulting volume will be 3.00 cubic feet. Now, since we already have the four variables, we can place a formula. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Let's substitute the values. 1 times 400 is equal to X times 3. So simplify it, that will be 400. And for the right side, x times 3, that will be 3x. Divide both sides by 3, so you will know the answer or the value of x. We have 133.3 repeating decimal. So what will be the final answer? We will base it on the significant figure, the least number of significant figure. Let's check. So 1.00, this one has 3 significant figure. 400.0 is, it has 4 significant figure. 3.00, it has 3 significant figure. So let's go back. 133.3 repeating decimal. So you only need this. And the next number will decide if we will round down or round up. Since this is 3, so round down. So the final answer is 133 ATM or atmosphere. Next example, example number 2. Convert 77.0 liters at 18.0 mmHg to its new volume at standard pressure. So we have initial pressure 18.0 mmHg. The resulting vo sorry, the initial volume will be 77.0 liters. And the resulting pressure will be 7R60 mmHg. Okay, sir, why do you use mmHg instead of ADM or atmosphere? Because I have already MMHG in the initial pressure. Why bother using ATM? And we need we will still convert it after that. Um, so it will be easier if you have the same pressure units. And we are asked to find the resulting volume. So I'll put X. Since we have already four, the four variables, I'll now place the formula. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Substitute the values. We have 18 multiplied to 77 and 760 multiplied to x. Simplify that. In the last side of the equation, that will be 1386 or 1386 and 760x. Divide both sides by 760 and x will be 1.82368, so on. So what will be the final answer? Let's check the significant figure. We have 3 here, and we also have 3 significant figures here. However, in this one, we only have 2. 
So the least number of significant figures, figures is 2. So 1.8. Since the next number is 2, so we'll, we will not we will not round up. So the final answer will be 1.8 liters. Example number 3. The gas occupies 11.2 liters at 0 0.860 atm. What is the pressure if the volume becomes 15.0 liters? So we have the initial pressure is 0 0.860 atm. And the initial volume is 11.2 liters. The resulting pressure, we don't know, so I'll just put X, and the resulting volume will be 15.0 liters. So since I already have the four variables, let's place the formula. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So let's place 0.86 here, multiply to 11.2. And for the right side of the equation, we have X times 15. So simplify that. The left side of the equation, that will be 9.632. And for the right side, that will be x times 15. Simplify that one. So that will be 15x. Divide both sides by 15. And you will get an answer of this one. 0 0.64213 repeating decimal. Now, how? what is the final answer? Let's check the significant figure. So in the first one, we have three. Three significant figures. This one, also three. And of course, last one, also 3. So I'll just check the final answer will be 0 0.642. And since it's 1, so as is. No rounding up of numbers. So the final answer will be 0 0.642 atmosphere. Let's move on to example number 4. The air inside a flexible 2.5 liter container has a pressure of 110 kPa or kilopascal. What should the volume of the container be increased to in order to decrease the pressure to 620 torr? So let's have the initial pressure. We have 110 kPa. And for the initial volume, that will be 2.5 liters. For the resulting pressure, that will be 620 torr. And for the resulting volume, we don't know. So that will be X. So take note, the pressure units since we have different pressure units so in initial pressure we have kpa and for the resulting pressure we have tor so someone needs to adjust now how can we decide since we are finding for the volume the resulting volume these are partners so this one kpa will have to adjust so we need to convert kpa to tor let's check the conversion units again so 101.3 kPa is equal to 760 torr. We will use that in our conversion. 110 kPa over 1 will be multiplied to 760 torr over 101.3 kPa. Take note these 760 torr and 101.3 kPa are equal. So we can now cancel the units of kPa. So 110 multiplied to 760, and the answer to that one will be divided to 101.3, and we'll get 825.3 torr. Okay, that's great. We have um, 825.3 torr in our initial pressure, and we have torr also for our resulting pressure. So let's put in here, so we're not going to use this anymore. So since we have the four variables, we can place the formula. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. And let's substitute the values. 825.3 multiplied to 2.5. This is equal to 620 times X. Let's simplify the equation on the left side. 825.3 multiplied to 2.5. That will be 2063.25. This is equal to 620X. Divide both sides by 620. And x will be 3.327822. And what will be the final answer? Let's check the number of significant figures. So we will not check this one anymore. 825.3, that will it has four significant figures. 2.5, two significant figures, 620 tor. Also has two significant figures. So we have 3.3 only. Since the next number is 2. 
we will not round up the number. So the final answer will be 3.3 liters. Example number 5. A helium balloon has a volume of 735 ml when it is at ground level. The balloon is transported to an elevation of 5 kilometers, where the pressure is only 0 0.81 atm or atmosphere. At this altitude, the gas occupies a volume of 1286 ml. Assuming the temperature has remained the same, what was the ground level pressure? You have for the initial pressure, we have P1 is equal to X and V1 is equal to 735 ml. For the resulting pressure, that is 0 0.81 atm. And for the resulting volume, that will be 1286 ml. So we don't have problems with the units since we already have the four variables, we can place the formula. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So that will be X times 735 for the left side of the equation. And for the right side, that will be 0 0.81 multiplied to 1 to 86. Simplify it. You have 735X and equal to 1041.66. Divide both sides by 735. And x is equal to 1.41722448.97 and so on. But how, what, what will be the final answer? Let's check the significant value. Significant number, I'm sorry. Number of significant number for the initial volume. We have 3 here. So 3. Next one, 0 0.81. It has 2 significant values. 1, 2, 8, 6. It has 4 significant values. So the least number is 2, so that will be 1.4. Since the next number is 1, then we will round down. So S is as 1.4. So the final answer will be 1.4 atm or atmosphere. Next one, example number 6. A balloon with a volume of 2.0 liters is filled with a gas at 3 atmospheres. If the pressure is reduced to 0 0.5 atmospheres without a change in temperature, what would be the volume of the balloon? Yes, the, uh, in the problem, the temperature is stated. However, we will not use other laws or gas law. We will still use Boyle's law because uh, we will not incorporate the temperature in the equation. So let's have the initial pressure. We have 3, 8, 3 atm. The initial volume is 2.0 liters. And for the resulting pressure is 0 0.5 atmosphere. And for the resulting volume, that will be x. Since we have the four variables, we can now place the formula. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Let's substitute the values. So we have 3 here times 2 is equal to 0 0.5 times x. Simplify it. So 3, 3 times 2, that will be 6. And 0 0.5 times x, 0 0.5x. Now divide both sides by 0. 0. 0.5 so x is equal to 12 now the, the final answer will be 12 liters since we have liter liters here all right so let's go to the final example example number seven the volume of a gas at 16.5 psi decreases from 1.5 liters to 750 ml what is the new pressure of the gas in atmosphere take note in the initial pressure, we have PSI, but we are asked to find it in ATM or atmosphere. And also, we have 1.5 liters and we have 750 ml. So let's write it down. So we, what we can do is we can find the answer in PSI first. Then once we find the answer in PSI, we can just convert it to ATM. And this one, since we have liters and 750 ml here, but we are asked to find for the pressure. So these are partners. So we have to change this one to ml. So that will be 1,5 or 1,500 ml. So since we have the four variables, let's place the formula. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. And substitute them. 16.5 multiplied to... 1.5 is equal to x times 750. Simplify the left side of the equation. 
we got 24,750. That's equal to 750 times x or 750x. Divide both sides by 750. So x will be 33. Now, are we already done? No, we have it in 33 PSI. However, we need to convert that one into ATM because it's stated in the problem. What is the new pressure of the gas in ATM or atmosphere? Okay, so for this one, we have to check the conversion units again. So 1 ATM is equal to... Okay, here we go. 14.7 PSI. So 33 PSI over 1 multiplied to 1 ATM over 14.7 PSI. So these... Two will cancel. 33 times 1 divide that by by 14.7 and you will get an answer of this one. And so many decimal places. But how are we going to find a final answer? Let's check the significant figures. 16.5 it has three significant figures. 1.5 liters but it's 1,500. So both of them has two significant figures. 750 ml also has two significant figures. So we will just use two, 2.2. The next number is four. So we will not round up the answer. That will be 2.2. So the final answer, the new pressure will be 2.2 ADM or atmosphere. Yes, like that. <laughs> and that's the end of the lesson on how to find or how to solve Boyle's law. If you have any comments or suggestions, please comment down below. Or if you need help with your assignment, I will do my best to answer it as long as it's related to the video. And I will also post, I mean, also include the link for my future video about how to find the number of significant figures. So I will, I will just post it in the description box. And if you would like, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification so you will be updated on my future videos about math and language. And for, of course, for the future videos about chemistry and other gas law. Thank you and goodbye!